Hey, what is up, all my fellow fighters? Enemy War 112 back at you with another reaction video. And tonight, as I promised, I am doing part four, I believe. I believe it's part four of the Awkward Family Photos Top Tens. And I finally got the counters figured out. I finally got the counter figured out so I don't have to count on my fingers. So let's just dive right into it. Here we go. Number one. Okay. Uh, okay. Cl oh, wait. Look at that. Looks like they're... Well, it kind of looks like they're both the uh, husband and the wife are in the same shirt. She's got her head down and he's kind of sticking his head out the top. That is very strange. It just, it looks so weird, like they're meshed together. That is so weird, isn't it, guys? Man, that is strange. He looks so familiar, too, but I can't quite place him. Weird. Alright, well, enough of that. Let's move on to number two. Okay. Uh, Pink and Frilly win again. Oh, my lord. This is disturbing. This is unnaturally disturbing and the smiles just make it creepier oh my god <clears throat> wow and what is that in her in her hands what is that in the little girl's hands oh they're they're like animals are those no they're dolls i can i couldn't even tell what they were even the little girls have their dolls dressed up like them that is just downright creepy oh my gosh okay it's just Let's move on. This is creepy. Wow. Uh, number three. Wow. Uh, hand vacuums. Lots of hand vacuums. Look at that. The kids, the, the little boy in the tie-dye shirt, he's got that look on his face like, Get me out of this family. What is this anyways? <laughs> and look at Grandma sitting there on the right. Jeez. She looks like she's ready to blow your head off. <laughs> actually, scratch that. She looks like she's... I actually don't know what she looks like. I actually don't know what it looks like she's trying to do there. I'm not entirely sure. But look at the woman on the left. Now, she looks like she wants to blow your head off. Wow. That is... Or better yet, suck your face off. Either way, it's just... Beyond strange. Let's just move on. Number four. Okay, a uh, split personality type thing. Okay, so clearly these are the, their names. The sad, depressed one is Henry. Yeah, that looks like Henry. And the really happy and joyous one, who also looks like he is completely stoned off his ass, is Griffin. Wow. That's weird. I have a friend named Griffin. Oh, that's just creepy. That is just creepy in so many ways. And look at his face. That is a stoner face. And look at the guy on the left. He is so depressed by what's going on with his brother that he just doesn't care. He looks like he's about ready to take a puff too and get stoned. He's just, he's not happy. Wow. Okay. Okay, well. Oh. Uh, everything went dark. We gotta move on. Henry and Griffin, see you later. Number five. Oh, another Christmas time picture. You know, in the future, I should probably start putting these in the same video instead of having them, like, split up in different videos. I should probably start doing that. I'll get to work on that. Uh, I'll get to work on the next series. I already got everything set up for this series. I'll get to work on that for the next series. If I ever start on the next series. Wow. Uh, Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> wow. I'm honestly speechless. I don't really know what to say. The picture, the picture tells it all. It's Christmas time. They're all wrapped up in their own presents. They are their own presents for Christmas. And clearly, the father and the daughter are Mickey Mouse fans. Wow. Okay. Moving on. Number six. Oh, hello. Mama's dangerous, and so is her little boy. Wow, talk about a mama's boy, huh? <laughs> Good lord, look at him. The mother has a blue belt. She's standing in a in a fighting stance, and the boy is doing a perfect split. And he's a black belt. How does that work? She looks to be in... 
Now, all of you, please do not scream at me. I'm terrible at judging age, but I'm I'm gonna do it right here. By the looks, by the looks of her and her hair, I say she's maybe in her forties or fifties, possibly in her um, mid forties. I'd say would be my best guess. She looks to be possibly in her mid forties to early fifties. That'd be my best guess. But yeah, a uh, nice family. I guess they have something they really like. Alright, let's move on. Number seven. Uh, oh, now I see it. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, what's so weird about this? Now I see it. Look at the boy in the middle. His, the picture on his, uh, the face on his shirt. Wow. And everybody is like really uncomfortable. Look at the adults standing in the very back. The one with the shades on, she doesn't look happy. Not at all. You can even tell, even with those shades on, she looks like she's really upset. And the kids around him all look really uncomfortable. Even the boy wearing the shirt looks really uncomfortable. I mean, that is a very creepy face. That's even kind of creeping me out a little. Wow. Okay. Please, burn that shirt as soon as you get home, kid. Number eight. Okay. Uh, we got a father. I can't tell if that's an older sister or his wife again please do not scream at me i'm terrible at judging appearances and ages and the little two little girls you got me on this one i honestly have no idea what's going on here i can't really figure out what's going on here there's something up with the little girls and the father is got his hand behind him that i honestly don't know i can't say what's going on in this picture I really can't. It's just very strange, and I honestly don't understand. I really don't understand what's going on in this picture. Let's just move on. This is I'm at a loss for words for this. Let's just go. Oh! Uh, Christmas time picture? Possibly under the mistletoe? Wait, is that the mistletoe up there at the top in the middle of these guys? I cannot tell. But clearly, the grandparents at the bottom... I can only assume that they're the grandparents because they kind of look to fit the bill. They, they kind of seem like they fit the bill. Or maybe they're the parents of these kids. I don't know. But the, but the adults with the kids at the bottom here, they are looking up at the couples like, really? You're going to do that in the picture? Really? And the kids, I'm not sure if they understand what's going on, but they look like... They kind of look like half uncomfortable and like half annoyed. And like, I don't really know. They just they just look like a whole mess of emotions and nothing is positive about it. Wow, okay. Well, don't kiss and tell, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know if that was a good enough joke. Let's just move on. I'm terrible making jokes on the spot. Okay. Taking ventriloquism to a whole new level or is that just their sick, twisted way of trying to get another kid? Look at that thing. That is disturbing as heck. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. That's something that Jeff Dunham would use in his show. That's disturbing. Holy crap. Is that a dog in the boy's arms? I can't really tell what that is. I think that's a dog, but I can't tell. They all seem... The mother is pretty happy, but the father does not look... The father kind of looks... You know, like, eh, whatever. But the... Actually, they all don't really seem to notice. They all... <clears throat> it seems like they're all pretty happy. Or at least they don't care. I don't know. Either way, this is very strange. This is just very strange. If this is a way for them to get another child into the family, this is a very twisted way. Just have another kid. This Just have another kid the same way you had your first kid. And if it doesn't work out... Dude, science. Science, man. There's a million and one ways that you can have kids. Science has made that possible. Don't don't resort to a ventriloquist dummy. I swear, that looks exactly like a ventri ventriloquist dummy. That's just creepy. Okay, well, that was number 10. That was the top 10, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please hit me up in the comments below with any suggestions you got for any videos you want to see me do. You can even uh, hit me up on my email. It's going to be in the description below. 
hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Remember, I'm aiming for 50 subscribers. I know it's a long way off, but every, but every subscriber counts. Go out there and tell your friends about this. If you like this show, go out and tell your friends all about it. Make sure they know and make sure they tell their friends and their friends tell their friends and so on and so forth. Got to hit that 50 and I, I really want to hit that 50. I know it's a long way off, but I would really love to hit it. So thanks again for watching everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this. This is Enemy Warrior 112 signing off. See you around all my fellow fighters. Peace.